Hi, I'm Ant Joblin and welcome to IP Go, the show where we take a look at the IPO world, past, present and future. Today, we're looking at a company that's just gone public, One Water Marine. Founded in 2014 and based in Georgia, One Water Marine is one of the largest and fastest growing premium boat retailers in the United States. The firm operates dealerships across the country, providing a variety of high quality products, including the latest models of new and pre-owned recreational boats, parts and accessories, as well as repair and maintenance services. They also offer financing and insurance plans. The recreational boat dealer sells 72 brands in 63 dealerships across 11 states, and in eight of these states, they are in the top 20 for marine retail sales. One Water Marine have a long track record of delivering profitable growth both organically and through acquisitions. Its growth-driven acquisition strategy utilizes a disciplined approach focused on top performing dealerships within attractive markets. It also benefits from its diverse manufacturer and revenue models, which is supported by a comprehensive portfolio and growing presence within key boating markets. The firm has a market cap of $180 million, with revenues of $767 million, resulting in net income of $35 million. The previous year saw revenue of $292 million, with a net loss of $4.26 million. On the 7th of February, One Water Marine announced the pricing of an initial public offering of just over 4.6 million shares of its Class A common stock at $12 per share. Trading got off to a strong start with the first trade at $15, 25.2% above the $12 initial public offering price. The IPO priced at the low end of the expected range of $12 to $14, which was lowered from $18 to $20 last month. The firm sold 4.6 million shares in the IPO to raise $55.4 million and said it plans to use the proceeds, together with cash on hand and borrowings under its credit facility, to redeem all outstanding preferred units in its One Water Assets and Operations LLC, held by affiliates of Goldman Sachs and the Beekman Group. Now, recreational boating may sound like a non-essential business category, especially at a time of global instability, but this stock may prove to be a decent barometer of investor attitudes in the current climate. The coronavirus impact has JP Morgan predicting Chinese GDP may fall to minus 5.6% this quarter, which is staggering. With this level of disruption, if One Water Marine can stay buoyant, it could tell us a lot about how the US economy is performing underneath the headlines. As always, make sure you do your due diligence before making any investment decisions. See you next week.